So this is what we have to go through, plus this whole closet right here. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a like closet declutter video. I've done one of these previously on my channel. I'll have it like in the description somewhere if you want to go watch that. But I tend to declutter my clothes probably like once every two months or so. And in between those two months of like filling my closet up, I am so lazy with putting clothes up. Like I'll just, they're in the floor in the closet. There's two loads of clothes that need to be folded and put up on my bed. So... We're gonna just go through all that and declutter what I don't want anymore and what I want to like donate and sell and whatnot. So let's just get right into it. I think I'm gonna start with the stuff on the bed and let me just show you guys. This is just a huge amount of clothes that I need to go through. Okay, so let's see. I have a lot of clothes right here. I'm just gonna go through them and I'm just gonna make like a couple piles for like stuff I want to get rid of and stuff I want to keep I guess and some of this is like my daughter's clothes so I'm just gonna put those in a separate pile too so yeah let's just get into it I guess it really this really <laughs> needs to be done I'll show you my closet once we get to it but yeah let's just get started I don't know like how many of you guys like declutter videos you'll have to let me know in the comments if you actually like to watch declutters i like to watch them when i'm like chilling i really like to watch like cleaning videos and stuff so i figured we would just declutter and clean together i guess a lot of this stuff i need to go through my closet and get rid of a lot of stuff because I, it hasn't really been that long since i last decluttered but i have a lot of stuff in there that i know i'm not gonna wear anymore it's just not my style anymore and i really want to like list those on my depop and my website and stuff for sale so if you see anything like that i declutter that you might want to get your hands on i will have that linked in the description i have a depop a poshmark and my own website for selling stuff i'm just trying to get it wherever i can and i like to have like a lot of platforms i guess to put it on because look i'm getting rid of this getting rid of this don't want this i literally wore it once it made me feel so like masculine which is kind of a vibe sometimes but i'm just not feeling that lately we're gonna get rid of that one but anyway i like to have a bunch of different platforms set up for people to buy on because i feel like some people would prefer to buy off of like a certain platform rather than something else but i really in the future okay i don't even look my brain is everywhere i don't even know if i've told you guys i have not told you guys about my like business that I have recently started. So a few years ago, I found out you can like resell clothes like out of your closet, whatnot on Poshmark, right? And then I remembered, oh, you can do that on Depop too. So I did that for a while and then I stopped doing that. And I used to do pretty good like reselling and whatnot, but I just stopped doing it because, well, mainly because I was pregnant and it's a lot of like the way I had my storage set up was like totes and boxes. And so I couldn't really lift those at that time. So I just to put that off and just stop doing it and then i started um crocheting and i tried to create like a, like an instagram brand where i sold my crochet things but i stopped doing that because i got burnt out on it but now i'm back to um reselling because i really really like reselling and i know that i like to resell i like that as a means of making money but i also appreciate what it does for our environment and like the world around us because i don't know if you guys know i'm sure a lot of you know but uh fast fashion or like clothing waste like where we'll buy something and then throw it away it is really really not good for our environment and for like the future of the earth so i really appreciate that we can buy second hand and like i guess more sustainable clothing so that is like my focus on my web my website and my brand in general my brand is called us so yeah that's like my focus is just helping reduce the amount of like clothing waste and water waste and water pollution air pollution everything that comes along with like making clothes because we have so many clothes like we have literally so much clothing like circulating the world because we literally never stop making clothes like there's companies out there they never stop making clothes i figure let's just try to i mean i guess everyone kind of is on this wave right 
I hope, but I really feel really strongly about that, about just buying secondhand and like, because you can get secondhand clothes that are unique. Um, you can get them at a good price. You can get good quality clothing. You know, you don't have to go out and buy like a uh, terrible secondhand clothes from like thrift stores and it's got holes in it. That's not what, no, no, no. And that with my brand, that's what I'm trying to do is find the unique, great, like really good quality and just cool clothes. Just cool clothes that people actually enjoy to put back and give to you guys because I don't know y'all, we gotta do something. <laughs> We gotta do something. We all need to be doing something to help fix the mess that we're in, right? But I'll have my website and everything linked in the description. So you can like read up a little bit about on my website about us and a little bit about like sustainable fashion. If you don't know what sustainable fashion is, it's just like fashion, like clothing, articles that are made sustainably like clothing articles that are made sustainably meaning from natural like resources that's not harming the earth and made in a way that's not i guess adding to uh pollution and emissions and all of that you can shop second hand and that is sustainably shopping like that is because the more we shop second hand the less the need of these other companies like, like Shein, the less they need or will be able to have a, have an audience to like sell to because once we're all swapped to like, no, we're just buying secondhand, like they're gonna wanna copy that idea because that's what they're good at doing is copying ideas. But anyway, they're gonna wanna copy that idea and then they'll be selling secondhand clothes, hopefully if they want to and hopefully companies like that will realize you know what damage they're doing i mean it's just money all they want is money they're literally getting money but what what's money gonna do when we're all dead you know what is money gonna do when the earth is not even when well, we're not here like for real but anyway <laughs> i didn't mean to go on that whole rant but yes i did but yeah i'm just um i didn't even realize what i was doing i'm folding clothes over here but also, I'm gonna get rid of this shirt. I like this shirt, but I just don't wear it enough. It's kind of cool though. Don't believe the hop. Just a t-shirt. But yeah, now I'm just trying to organize. Like, why is this in the clothes? Okay, I feel like mo most sustainable shops like that sell sustainable clothing are more expensive. Like they're more on the, you know, more pricey side, which is to be expected because of the cost to do, to work with like sustainable materials and stuff is higher than to work with like unsustainable materials like polyester and stuff. And that is why these uh, companies that can sell clothes so cheap and whatnot and still make a profit is because they're using those like terrible materials to make their clothing. But with us, I really want to make sustainable shopping kind of more um affordable and accessible because me personally i cannot afford to like go out and buy like a 25 dollar t-shirt from a sustainable source uh, i can sometimes manage to do like a maybe a 10 dollar shirt and so that's why i feel like a lot of people will go towards fast fashion is because it's so cheap and accessible for everybody so with us, I really kind of want to merge those worlds together and make sustainable fashion more accessible and affordable. Um, so my uh, whole website, the price ranges from about 10 to $15 a piece for each uh, item. And I'm hoping to be able to even cut down on that because even that is kind of expensive to me as a lower income person so I'm hoping that that will help some guys some of you guys out some of you that care about the environment and want to help but you just find yourself stuck in only being able to afford you know certain things and those things contribute to terrible things so 
yeah, we're not going to keep going back and forth. But, yeah, I'm just going to have it linked. You guys check it out. I'm hoping to just make it affordable, accessible, and just help the earth. Help our people. Help the earth. And just, you know, move forward the right way. Because the way we're doing now, the way our everything is now is is just not good you know it's just not it's just not <laughs> and i do urge you to do research research yourself about sustainable fashion about what affects fast fashion and everything has on our environment because we just really need to do something about it all of this is like recent stuff that i've worn i'm gonna get rid of this cutie this little cute cutie I like it, but it's too small on me. So from this pile behind me, I've got three things to get rid of. And I'm going to tell you something. I just bought this. I just bought this. And I really, I really, really like it. And I don't want to get rid of it. But it's so pretty. And I just don't know if I'll ever wear it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And we'll see if we can make some use out of it. But I'm just gonna show you guys the closet. And then I'm gonna like bring a lot of it out onto the bed and just go through it. So this is our, um, I don't even know. This is our trash can of a closet. And I'm just gonna go through everything. And literally like I can see so many things that I do not want. I don't even want it. So... Let's just go through this. I'm going to try to set up an angle here for you guys. Okay, so you can't see my head, but I'm just going to time lapse this anyway. I'm just going to go through it real quick and like what I see that I know I don't want. I'm just going to throw it out. So this little pile is what I came out with. It's all clothes from like my side. This is my husband's side, but from my side. And it's literally almost everything except for like shirts with stains on them. <laughs> literally like shirts with stains on them is all i kept i think we did pretty good um this is actually quite a bit of clothes it's just like the cleanup part after decluttering is literally i'm gonna have to take a break and then do it because i can't <laughs> i can't handle it but we've got these i love these jeans so much these are faded glory they're just like mom jeans i guess and i had been looking for mom jeans to fit me my body for literally years and I found this pair and they don't fit anymore they're too small but they're really cute and in really good like condition there's no frayed bottoms or anything I love these pants I wish they would fit me still we've got this cutie this cute little Af Alfred Dunner orange shirt the front of it is like you can't see from here but it's like got a design on the front and it's kind of see-through it's pretty we've got this always have a bunch of t-shirts um here's a house coat i just really want to get rid of everything in my closet that just doesn't feel like me like this stuff just does not feel like me at the moment so this is really cute though it has pockets in it this little house coat this is kind of my vibe but your girl does not wear bras. I don't wear bras. So, some clothing choices, I just have to decide. Do I want to wear a bra or do I not want to wear a bra? And with this one, I feel like I want to wear a bra, but I don't wear bras. But also, I just realized they're going to stay on this, so I'll keep it. I'll keep it, whatever, whatever. This, I would literally never wear this. It's just a basic t-shirt. Um, got Smokey Bear. This shirt, I love this shirt so much. Um, this was, I, I kind of feel like I'm not going to be able to get rid of this one because I love it so much. I think I'm going to keep this one because it's really cool. The design is awesome. It's like Egyptian. I don't even know. I love that. I'm not going to get rid of it. I changed my mind. Here's the Alfred Dunner little granny shirt cute little granny shirt we got this like these just are not 
they're just not my style, you know. And this. I'm trying to get out of wearing t-shirts. I'm really into like, I guess, blouses and stuff. I'm trying to connect with my feminine energy. So I'm trying to put that in my clothing as well and stop wearing as much t-shirts. Because usually I'm like a t-shirt wearer. But I realized I love crop tops. Like... I really love crop tops, so most of the shirts I have that I wear are crop. Um, here's a Kmart shirt. I don't know if you guys know, but Kmart is no longer a thing. I worked at Kmart back in 2017 when the location I was at was going out of business. And, I mean, I was only keeping this shirt for, like, nostalgia purposes, but I think it's time to get rid of it. It's just time to get rid of it. We got Save the Bees. I kind of want to keep this, but it doesn't fit me. But I might crop it, you know. We'll see. I'll put it in the get rid of for now. We'll see. Got this cutie. See, I see all these t-shirts, and I'm like, oh, I could crop literally all of these. But I still don't think I'd wear all of them. Here's a fire truck shirt. This, oh my gosh, I've had this for literally since I was 16, I think. And it was always like my business shirt. Like if I had to go do an interview or go to dinner or anything that was kind of fancy, I would wear this. It was my staple shirt. It's really cute, but I'm never going to wear that again. I have not worn that in probably two years. But I did wear it a lot though. This shirt. I don't even know what this is. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee. And then... Here's another house coat. Uh, it's got, I don't know, is that an R or an A? I don't know how to recursive. Don't know. It's just a house coat, silky house coat. And this, it's a little embroidered. This is embroidered on. It's cute. I made this. Um, I like this, it's just not my style. It's like a cutout on the sides. It's just a little shirt. It's cute. It's really cute. Then we've got this flannel. Just a green basic country boy flannel. This is an Aeropostale t-shirt. Super soft. We're almost at the bottom here. Let's see. I've got this dress. I just don't like, like, mid-length dresses, I guess. I guess this is kind of knee-length. This is an old navy dress. And I'm pretty sure... Okay, no. I thought this one had pockets, but I guess not. It's just a cute little dress. And here's another dress. I kept this one just in case I had to, like... I, I really don't know where I would wear this. But I kept it for an occasion that has not came yet, so... I don't know. I'm just going to get rid of it. And we've got this little number here. Just a Hawaiian shirt. It's cute, but I don't think I've worn it at all. I took it from my husband because he never wore it. And then we've just got this little v-neck sweater. This old navy sweater. And then this, I'm taking out of my closet because it does not fit me. But I don't know if I'll put this on my shop. This is Eddie Bauer. It's a feather coat. It came from my grandpa. So I'm going to see if my sister wants it. And if she doesn't, then we'll go for them there. Because I want to keep it, but it does not fit me anymore. I love this thing. It's feathers. But yeah, that is... I think that's it. I think that's what we're decluttering today. So let me actually count how many things we're decluttering. 24. Okay, so I think we're at a count of 24 things that I'm decluttering from my closet. And I was going to give you guys like um, a before and after, but I'm not going to clean this right now. <laughs> Just being honest, I'm not going to. I'm going to do that later, but I don't think it'll be in this video. But yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do with you guys today. I have a lot of bras and stuff I need to get rid of. But I don't know about donating bras. 
Like, let me know in the comments if you can donate bras and how you would suggest doing that. Because my boobs do not fit in my bras anymore and I don't even wear bras. So, I really need to get rid of them. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, our declutter. I think it's pretty successful though. I knew I had a lot of stuff in the closet that I did not want anymore. I wish my husband would go through his side because he does not wear half the clothes that's in here. Just like me. I don't wear... I literally wear like, you know, like a staple five things every week. Thanks for chilling and decluttering with me and listening to me rant about the environment and fixing it. Because I want to fix it. I don't know how to fix it. I want to fix everything. I think that's just like who I am as a person though. I literally will see something and immediately want to fix it. I mean, we can just take it one step at a time. That's all you can do. So I guess I'll do my part. You'll do your part, then everybody will hopefully join in and do their part. That's the, that's the dream. That's the goal, right? But anyway, thank you guys for sitting and decluttering with me. I really, really enjoy decluttering. I hate cleaning up after, but I really like to get rid of things. Especially things that I'm like, oh, that's not me. Like, that's not me at all. Like, I really enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing it and i hope you take this as your sign if you have not decluttered your closet in a month or more go do it just go do it it's gonna make you feel better <laughs> and plus you're making way more room in your closet for things that you actually enjoy like i realize now i'm getting rid of all this and i have made so much room in my closet for things that i actually will wear and want to wear. With that being said, I guess I'm just gonna go. I know I'm rambling, but I'm just gonna let you guys go and I'll see you in the next video.